late Saturday evening and I'm here to do one thing and that is to create a base for this sculpture. Well, first off, I'm going to create a reservoir or however you say it for the foam that's going to be created to make a base. And the best way to do that is make a reservoir. Now, this is going to be a fluid base. In other words, it's not going to be a solid circle. It's going to This keeps the uh, flow of foam within a boundary. Now, you need to put the rubber gloves on because if you get this foam on your hands, it's going to take forever to get it off your hands. These rubber gloves are a little small. Now this is an AB mixture, this uh, foam. And uh, I just Poured one part into this cup. Okay. Yeah, I need that to support it, so let's go with it. Alright, I'm going to mix this up. It gets real milky looking and when it gets uh, ready to set, it gets really hot. Save my phone, you It's already hard, very hot. That's less than just about five minutes.
Perfect. Perfect. All right, it's hard enough for me to start carving. First thing I'm going to do is cover this base <laughs> because I don't want foam getting into my clay. Now, many of you will wonder what happens to this uh, board, or this uh, piece of wood that's holding them up when they make a mold of it. And uh, what they'll do is they'll make a mold around it and just cut it out. And I put it in a place where the loincloth will cover it and on both sides. And uh, it will uh, be easily... cut away in the wax stage. Alright everybody have a great week the rest of the weekend and I'll see you Monday. At least that's the plan.